Hi, it's me again with Grill Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture and it's really pretty sharp. You could probably trace it, but let's just draw it. I'm thinking the way they drew it, there's 18 of them. So I'm going to make the circle about the same size of that circle. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to make some other lines. And I'm going to control D, make a duplicate, holding down the shift key to make it grow. And then control D, control D, control D. There's 18 of these, so it'll be rotated 30 times. So I've kind of figured out if we rotate that in five degree increments, control D, rotate it five degrees, control D, that might be enough. Um, try to grab that one, control D, a negative five degrees, and then control D. So what we have is something kind of like that shape I would strongly suggest you now select everything and group it together. Then we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, set on black, and we're going to fill in that all the way across, and then these two. So this equals 20 degrees. Now, because we have this grouped, I'm going to make this about 25 inch nudge and I'm going to nudge that out of the way. I always like to keep it. And then I'm going to go up to object and combine that. Whoop. Somehow I got rid of one of them. Let's just try welding it. Huh. Let's zoom in here and see what's going on. I don't know why that's doing that. Tell you what, let's just group it together. Can't really see the lines. Let's go to group and group. And then let's go to object. Let's select it all. Go up to object. Let's ungroup it again and try grouping it all or selecting it all and go back to combine. Now it took away another one. So that's why I never delete uh, this article or this deal. Let's try it again. Matter of fact, let's take the Smart Fill tool or the Parallel Dimension tool. And let's just delete these lines. That way it'll fill in solid. There we go. Now we don't have to do anything because those lines aren't really there. Let's move that out of the way. Let's uh, double click on the rotation and put it there. We could actually do this not filled in. But let's see what it looks like filled in. There we go. Now let's go to Windows, Dockers, and Transform or Transformation. Let's rotate it 20 degrees. And we need uh, 18 of them. So we've already got one. So we're going to go 17 and hit Apply. Look at that. That's that shape. Now... Let's try, let's try combining this and see what happens. Yep. So now it's all one piece. Uh, if they want it exactly like that, let's draw a rectangle around here. And let's grab, let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then let's grab the Smart Fill tool. Go here to the eyedropper and get that. Really, that won't work because it's. I'll have to do the inside and the outside, but it worked. And then if we want that blue, same thing. I don't know that they want that blue. Eyedropper, take a sample of that blue and put it here. And because it, well, it should do that automatically all the way around because we can bind it. Let me make sure. Let me nudge that out of the way for a second. That was our rectangle. Nudge the color out of, this, out of the way for a second. Huh. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's left click, right click, and you can see the lines. Now let's try welding it. We're going to have to go to object, group, 
or break the curve apart, and then the weld comes up, and let's weld it. It got almost all the lines. We could take the smart fill or the virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. Those lines aren't going to really hurt us because of the fact that they're uh, hairlines. But let's just delete. Whoop. Got too far. I think that's all of them. Now let's take the smart fill tool and let's just fill that in with that blue. There we go. Now let's nudge, take the smart fill away, nudge that back and that back. And there you have a vector of that real sharp, clean line. Now I didn't just, I did a little work on this first and, and rotated to figure out that five degrees to make the 20 degree. But 20 would be the 18 and it just worked out perfectly. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.